Hey, writer friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a writer aspiring to be a published author. And today I will be telling you my top five tips to improve your writing. So all of us have heard the kind of typical advice that people say when they say you should improve your writing. You just gotta write more, or you gotta read more, read in and outside of your genre. So these five tips are gonna be different from those because those are a given. Tip number one is to edit your own work. The best way that I found that I have improved in my writing is actually by editing. Unfortunately, you will have to go through some cringe-worthy reads of your writing, just like, why did I write that? And like, ugh, that is like bad. But that's the beauty of it, is that you see that there are changes that need to be made, and then you'll prevent yourself from making those mistakes in the future. So when you're editing your work, you can find grammar mistakes, you know, purple prose, character flaws that just don't make sense. You may even, may even find some plot holes. So all of this is gonna help you when you write your future drafts, write new novels. You're gonna find things that are gonna come a lot easier to you and it's gonna help you be a better writer. It can be difficult to look at your own manuscript with a critical eye and that's where tip number two comes in, is to become a beta reader or critique partner. Why? because you're looking at their manuscript with fresh eyes and that critical eye that you can't put on your manuscript. It'll help you when you're looking through someone else's work and find mistakes in their writing that you can then take back and scour your manuscript and see if you've made those same mistakes. Maybe they're lacking a description or they keep using the same word or phrase over and over and over again. You can look back in your manuscript and try to look for those same errors and then you can prevent that in your future writing. Tip number three, copywriting. So this is actually a phrase that my sister Heather and I came up with in order to improve our writing. So we call copywriting when you find one of your favorite authors and take either a page or a couple pages of your author's work and you just start typing it out line by line, word for word. Just a side note, you're not plagiarizing this author's writing. All you're doing is just rewriting what they're writing as an exercise. So what we found with this is that it really helped us kind of get into that author's head and see where they took the scene, see where they added more description than you maybe would have, how they changed up the dialogue, or maybe they had really great prose in a section that maybe you wouldn't have written. I highly recommend this if you're looking to emulate a certain author's writing style. Obviously, you want to use your own voice and not exactly copy their writing style, but you want to see where their flow is and the specific voc vocabulary that they use or just how they build their scenes. Tip number four, read writing craft books and do the exercises in them. So reading writing craft books has been a great way for me to improve my writing, even in areas that I didn't even know needed any work or I didn't even know existed. There are so many writing craft books out there. If you guys are interested in seeing the writing craft books that I have read and found helpful, leave me a comment down below and maybe I will put up a future video if you guys are interested but I found that also doing the exercises in them has been another crucial part. I actually was doing um, the exercises in the emotional craft of fiction right before I started editing the first draft of my novel. And I started just writing in the book, just writing answers. And it really helped me build my character's emotional arc that I you know, didn't even know was weak. But as I was reading this book, I was like, wow, I really need to work on my, my um, character's emotional arc. Well, I almost said patient because I'm a physical therapist and I am really tired right now. So um, writing is an art and it takes work. So you need to study it, practice it, and master it. And tip number five is to attend writing conferences and workshops. So I know that this tip can be a little pricey, so that's why I recommend either doing one or two day workshops that um, you can find online, or there are actually some online writing conferences. Um, there was actually one that Kim Chance had 
posted on her channel. And so I'm going to link that down below if you're interested because it was like five bucks and I think $15 at the most if you wanted to have access to all of the lessons for a month's time. So there are ways that you can improve your writing that isn't very expensive because I know there are some coaching programs and some workshops and conferences that can get pretty pricey, especially if they aren't in the same state that you live in. But I feel like attending these conferences are very crucial in improving your craft of writing. There aren't just writing coaches that are at these conferences, but there are authors who have gone through the ups and downs and can teach you the mistakes that they've made so that you don't make those mistakes and all of the things that they've learned. There are editors and agents that can tell you their experiences and can help you to get published. They're all there to provide their vast knowledge and experiences with you and they may even answer a lot of the specific questions that you may have. So I hope you found these tips helpful. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's any tips that I didn't mention that you like to use to improve your writing. All right, until next time, bye.